It's rare you see something go from so bad to so good so fast. Hey guys, this is my review for the 14th episode of Season 12 of Supernatural. Apologies for my lateness, I have an excuse. If you can see this strip right here, I am going through a nasty little nasal infection. It's the first time I've ever had one, so it's very interesting. Either way, this episode started off as the national anthem from all Crimea River babies. Because the dialogue between the brothers and the mom at the beginning, and then the aftermath between Sam and Dean was so whiny. It was so bad. It was so cheesy. It was so stupid. I immediately, I think I was doing this the whole time, but then when they found out that the British Mail Letters had almost pretty much wiped out all vampires in the area, and then when the Super Man of Letters guy came over to Dean, I admittedly, I was doing my laundry, but I kept on doing this. And the episode started to change. Sam was kind of being drawn into the Men of Letters from what his mom was showing him and just how great the operation was and then it turned out that the alpha appeared the alpha freaking vampire if there's one thing that I'll say that I liked about season six it was the actor that they chose for the alpha vampire because this dude is cool he's got a sweet wicked voice and he's really intimidating and so what he did is he turned the last remaining nest in this area and he made it go after the men of letters and then it got cool. It was like its own version of 30 Days of Night. That was intense. There was some cool betrayals. There was some cool action. Admittedly, some of it was a little cheesy here and there. And at one point, even when uh, Dean and the Super British Metal Letters guy were going to go in, it's like, are you ready? Always. And Dean just did a... And I laughed at that. That was funny. And that's something that this episode did, is it went from something that was so childish and it matured so quickly into something that was actually cool. And again, it made me kind of question the idea of the British Men of Letters. Are they actually a threat? They aren't doing much. Like, really, they are actually fixing stuff. They're actually making way more progress than the American Hunters ever did. This episode actually has a really cool finale, too, with a little trick done on the Alpha Vampire and him being taken out by the cult. That was sick. And I couldn't believe it. When Right when Sam fired the shot, I was like, holy shit, holy shit, they actually just killed the Alpha. So this episode was gnarly, it was cool, and I really did enjoy it. I actually have to admit, this was probably one of the more entertaining episodes of the season, and it really did a turnaround for me. So in the end, I'm going to give this episode a 6 out of 7. And it was quite surprising. I did enjoy it. It did start off really bad at first but holy talk about a turnaround it surprised me it impressed me we got 10 episodes left we've had some good individualistic episodes but we're still waiting for the actual main threat to appear i'm still wondering how the season's going to end and cross over to season 13 but maybe they can turn around it's not going to be as good as season 11 i already know that for sure but maybe they can pull themselves back. Anyway guys, that's all for me. See you guys next time.